the Woods is my absolute most favourite musical of all time. It's all about different characters from fairy tales, Jack and the Beanstalk, Little Red Riding Hood, Cinderella, uh, and the Wolf. And it's so different from a, just a normal uh, pantomime or fairy tale. These fairy tales have an edge. Into the woods without delay, but careful not to lose the way. Into the woods, who knows what may be lurking on the journey. Into the woods to get the thing that makes it worth the journeying. Into the woods and out of the Really, on Broadway in the West End, only you know the best actors, um, the best singers, perform these roles. And I have gathered the best that Singapore has to offer in terms of musical theatre, um, the best singers, um, and those who can also can sing, act, and dance at the same time. Everything maidens could wish for. Then why no? Why no? The girl must be mad. The princes were written as, you know, parodies of paragons, of, you know, the idea of what princes are like in fairy tales, and to turn that on its head. Well, I think what's, what makes Cinderella's prince an interesting role is that we, we get to see his side of the story. So we get to learn about his frustration and having to chase after Cinderella, basically. And you've learned something too, something you never knew, on the steps of the palace. Well, I've played Cinderella many times, but I think in Into the Woods it's something pretty different. It's not so simple. It's not like you meet your prince and everything is going to be wonderful. She grows up, she realizes that relationships are complicated and maybe she, what she dreamed of isn't actually what she really wants. Think of that scrumptious carnality twice in one day. In, in this particular production, I've drawn from uh, influences like anime, Japanese anime, and on cosplay, because that's very, very familiar to a younger audience in Singapore. Oh my gosh, I love my costume. I think if I could wear it every day, I would. Um, what makes it different is, I, I think that, you know, contrary to how I've seen it interpreted in other productions, I look a little bit like a gothic Lolita. I mean, there's definitely the sweet and innocent aspect, but with a, a rather slutty edge to it as well, which is, you know, perfectly describes Little Red Riding Hood in Into the Woods. Mother said not to stray, still I suppose a small delay, Granny might like a fresh bouquet. Goodbye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, little girl. Doesn't sound like a warbuck. <laughs> <laughs> and five, six, seven, eight.